expenditure on prospecting of minerals section 35 e now what happens in this case is that you know they could be a person who's looking after or is engaged in the business of prospecting or extraction of minerals right in that case he is allowed a deduction for expenditure which he incurs in this respect right so let us see what are the deductions which are allowed and what are the criteria for such an allowance expenditure incurred for prospecting for extraction or production of minerals so you could be prospecting for minerals you could be engaged in the extraction of minerals or you could be engaged in the production of minerals right expenditure incurred by an indian company or a non corporate resident assessee so either you are an indian company right which means foreign companies are not allowed this deduction or a non corporate resident assessee so if you are a firm hua for any other person then in that case you are also a resident of india is covered under this section so if either of these two people make any kind of a payment right that is covered for deduction under section 35 e now what is to be noted is that the expenditure incurred by so the expenditure has to be incurred by these two people if someone else meets a part of it so let's say if your total expense was 100 and the government gives you 50 rupees back then your expenditure is only 50 right part of such expenditure met by others in this case it was government and insurance money realized by the assessee for property or right brought into existence as a result of such expenditure shall not be allowed as a deduction right so let's say for example you incurred this 100 and you made some property right this property by chance was destroyed and the insurance company paid you 20 right so then out of 100 50 is made by someone else so 50 is allowable to you as a deduction and whatever money you realize by way of insurance through the property or right which was created as a result of this expenditure is also to be reduced so you will have only rupees 30 as the deductible expenditure right the next question is when should the expenses be incurred so when should this expenditure on production of prospecting for mineral be incurred normally the idea is to encourage investments into these kind of businesses so let's say you commence commercial production on a particular date right let's say you commence it on 31st may 2012 right so any expenditure incurred either during the year of commencement of commercial production so if you incur it here let's say financial year 11 12 or incurred during four years such preceding year so four years preceding such financial year which will be 10 11 9 10 8 9 and 7 8 so the expenditure incurred either during this period or this period is to be allowed as a deduction right what should be the business of the ssc the ssc should be engaged in prospecting for any specified mineral which minerals are covered is given in seven schedule or development of a mine or its natural deposits right and what is the deduction which will be allowed so let's say you incur 1000 as an expenditure how much deduction will be allowed such expenditure shall be allowed as a deduction in 10 equal installments so divide by 10 gives you 100 So you will get a deduction of hundred rupees, starting from the year when commercial production begins. So the first deduction you will get is in financial year, eleven and twelve. Right? If income from prospecting is less than the expenditure, so let's say during financial year eleven twelve your income is eighty rupees. Right? Remaining shall be carried forward for ten years. So eighty minus hundred will give you how much? Twenty. right so this 20 cannot be claimed as an expenditure in this year what have will happen is this will be allowed to be carried forward in the next years right and then in next year whatever income you earn let's say for example you get 120 then you can set off this 20 and 100 for the next year out of that income right so just to resummarize the expenditure incurred for product prospecting extraction or production of minerals is allowed 
if someone else bears a part of such expenses that has to be reduced if you bring in a property into existence which is destroyed and then you get some insurance money in respect of that that is also supposed to be reduced the expenses should be incurred either in the year when the commercial production begins or four years prior to that year business we know and the deduction will be allowed in 10 years beginning from the year when the commercial production starts if income in any year is less than the amount of deduction which is to be allowed the balance is carried forward for 10 years right let's move on to the next one 